Meghan Markle launched her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, with the grandiosity of a royal wedding. However, months later, the brand seems more like a cautionary tale of miscalculation rather than the next big thing in luxury living. While Meghan basked in the glow of Instagram teasers and high-profile announcements, the brand remains conspicuously absent from the marketplace. Five months after its splashy debut, American Riviera Orchard has yet to deliver any products to eager buyers, leaving its social media presence as empty as a royal banquet hall after the last course. Enter Martha Stewart, the undisputed queen of lifestyle brands, whose decades of hard work have built an empire that starkly contrasts with Meghan's ill-fated venture. According to insiders, Stewart has little patience for Meghan's attempts to join the ranks of lifestyle moguls. Martha has seen her fair share of high-flying wannabes who come in with grandiose plans and disappear just as quickly. A source revealed that Stewart, who meticulously built her brand from the ground up, finds the comparison between her empire and Meghan's efforts both irritating and laughable. American Riviera Orchard was intended to be a game-changer, boasting a range of products from kitchenware to gourmet jams and jellies. However, the brand's Instagram page, rather than showcasing chic new items and engaging content, features a sparse logo and vague promises of future offerings. This has led experts to question the brand's viability. If I were an investor, by Guru Mayanovsky remarked, I'd be deeply concerned. With no products and a nebulous business plan, it's hard to see where this venture is headed. The troubles didn't end there. Meghan's trademark application for American Riviera Orchard faced numerous issues, from misclassified products to a staggering fee of nearly $1,400. These setbacks had further fueled doubts about the brand's prospects. Adding to the drama, Meghan's difficulty in securing a permanent CEO, reportedly due to high staff turnover at Archul, the Sussex's charitable foundation, casts a shadow over her business acumen. Despite Meghan's glossy promotional materials and optimistic public statements, the reality is a far cry from the grandeur she envisioned. American Riviera Orchard, which was supposed to rival established names like Martha Stewart Living and Goop, now looks more like a distant dream than a thriving business. The brand's initial hype, driven by Instagram and high-profile endorsements, has failed to translate into tangible success, revealing a stark disconnect between Meghan's ambitions and market realities. The contrast between Meghan's approach and Martha Stewart's success couldn't be starker. Stewart's empire was built on relentless dedication, strategic planning, and a deep understanding of her audience. In contrast, Meghan's foray into the lifestyle space appears marred by overconfidence and a lack of practical execution. Her belief that a royal title and social media buzz would guarantee success seems increasingly misguided. As Meghan continues to grapple with the realities of launching a successful brand, American Riviera Orchard stands as a testament to the pitfalls of diving into the deep end without a solid plan. While Meghan may have dreamed of joining the ranks of lifestyle icons, her current trajectory suggests a harsh lesson in the complexities of business. For now, the brand's future seems as uncertain as the royal family's next public statement, leaving Meghan to contend with the sobering reality of her venture's underwhelming performance. Meghan Markle's grand lifestyle brand is shaping up to be more of a royal flop than a sparkling success story. As her ambitious dreams continue to falter, Meghan might want to take a page from Martha Stewart's book on building an empire, if only to avoid the pitfalls that have turned her latest venture into a cautionary tale of overreaching and underdelivering.